population health model, you have pharmacists embedded in clinics. However, the University of Missouri have about 60 clinics, so we're not going to be able to embed a pharmacist in each of the clinics. The driver behind the program was to create a population health model that was sustainable, wanted to make the program scalable as well. The Viper program is a virtual pharmacy review program. What the program entails is a pharmacist delving into the patient's chart and really looking at their medications and to make sure that patients are on the best and most appropriate medications for their disease states. It's a really comprehensive review that the pharmacist does a day or two before a patient is scheduled to see their primary care provider. The pharmacist then sends that review with recommendations to the provider. If a patient is on a medication um, but they have reduced or impaired renal function and it's not dosed appropriately, there's another set of eyes to you know help alert the provider that this medication needs um, dose adjustment or this med these two medications that the patients are on are interacting. Also use power forms to track our interventions and to put in input interventions that were made by the pharmacist and then track what type of intervention was made, why it was made, and then whether or not that was accepted or not accepted by the provider. We also use healthy registries to keep track of how the patient population that we're looking at, how that patient population is doing over time. One of the benefits for pharmacists with using healthy registries is that it gives us a tool to assess the impact of our programs. We saw improvements of anywhere from about 5 to 10 percent on those measures, which include things like A1C less than or equal to 9 percent, A1C being monitored, LDL controlled, um, LDL monitoring, and diabetic nephropathy screening. We've also seen that the providers, through time and more experience with the program, becoming more engaged in the process and really looking for those recommendations and appreciating them more and more. It's great to see the innovations that CERN is trying to drive forward for us to leverage the technology to create an efficient workflow that was once again scalable and sustainable was really the driver behind the, behind the population health model.